Uh, Caps have been great so far. I think uh, the players showed a good commitment to their fitness level over the summer as well as uh, just keeping some things sharp that they can do individually and in small groups. So I think they came in prepared and um, in a good place for us to kind of hit the ground running. So there was a, a lot of development early on um, as far as just kind of that getting used to each other again kind of feeling. Um, but that happened pretty quickly and we've been able to work on a lot of things through camp so far. Uh, I think the freshmen have integrated well into our program and uh, into what we're trying to do here. Um, and just meshing well with the team right off the bat, so that's been good. Um, as far as soccer goes, we've changed a few things defensively, so we've been trying to work on um, our defensive shape and really focusing in on that. So we've made definitely made strides through that, and after playing the boys, um, have been making some changes and working on that. But camp overall has been good from start to finish. So um, I think. It's prepared me pretty well. Uh, we have a, kind of a new goalkeeper trainer out there with us, so I'm getting reps in with him. Um, me and Devin are both out there pushing each other every day, so read us well. The field is actually, I feel like it's a little bit shorter than uh, Mackie, and the surface is a little bit slower. Um, I think that the game is the tempo of the game our tempo of the game is going to slow down a little bit but at the same time we kind of know practicing on it for the last week um, the kind of nooks and crannies of it to use it to our advantage to play against um, the next the two teams that we're going to play against um, it's not too bad because you know we play on grass at almost every other field that we go to um, Moana is a great surface we're really fortunate that um, Great Basin New Soccer League and even City of Reno and everyone supports us having those community games there um, we'll be out there training all week on it and um, just kind of getting used to, to the surface a little bit. But it's a great field and a great surface, and so we're pretty familiar with it. And since we play on grass a lot of other places, I think it's a pretty easy transition. Just looking to have the best year that the team has had, and that means, well, tactics are a little different this year, so six teams out of 12 go. So we definitely want to be one of those six, and um, I think the whole team's on page with that, and we don't have any doubt in our mind that we won't be one of the six, but um, just get to that tournament and hopefully be holding up the trophy at the end of it. How about for you? So going off what Bobby said, um, I think it's important for us to go out with the winning season. Over the last couple of years, we've fallen short. Um, we've made it to the tournament a couple of times, but we know that we can do a lot better, and I think um, this season, we're prepa prepared a lot more. Um, some of the players that are coming in are a lot stronger. And I think that as seniors, um, for me personally, I kind of want to leave a, a, a good foundation, a solid foundation for the younger kids so that they have something to build off of, something strong to build off of. And I think that um, we want to leave a legacy while we're here. We want to make something happen and make history. When you look at our senior class, and um, there's a, quite a few players in there that have earned a lot of playing time over the years and have, have been in a lot of different games, a lot of different experiences. Um, Bobby Riley returns as our leading goal scorer from last year, um, so we're definitely looking for her to give us some production up front. Um, and then Chris Fonte is kind of like that playmaking midfielder who uh, definitely helps connect uh, the team from front to back, but she's also dangerous around the goal. and. Uh, Daisha Jones Oglesby, she's kind of one of those feisty players. She had quite a few assists last year, but um, I think she can produce some more goals for us this year. And she, when she's on the field, something always seems to happen. And so we like to see what's going to kind of come from that. And then you have some key other players in different areas. I think Bree Boston is a good 1v1 defender at the back for us. And, and Kat Davison is a returning a sophomore. So those are both sophomores who played a lot as freshmen um, at the back. And so we're excited for the, to see what they do. Um, Kelsey Quintos returns in the goal. She had a pretty solid season last year. Uh, I think she's taken a lot of that experience and is able to put it into uh, coming in and now um, going into her junior year, but she's a red shirt, so being able to, to come in as that red shirt sophomore and really have some confidence. Um, newcomer wise, I think we're still seeing where a lot of them are going to pan out, but uh, uh, Angel Merriweather kind of stands out a little bit right now as a player who's really uh, good on the ball individually. She's a good passer of the ball, um, and you've already we can already see her 
um, creating some some dangerous things for us as a team and being really good in, in the attack and kind of that feisty defender in the midfield. So, um, you know, there's a lot of other people that I think are going to contribute along the way, but as things have started to unfold, those are some of the personalities you can really see taking some shape. Um, I think like Bobby was saying, our team chemistry is really good. The nine, uh, nine, nine newcomers, yeah, um, have blended in really well right from the get-go. Haven't seen much homesickness from them, which is always a good sign. They're excited to be here. They're ready to contribute, and it's looking good. Um, it's always exciting, I think. Uh, even though you have the spring season without your previous senior class, you're still kind of looking for players to step into new roles. Um, you might be looking for a newcomer to come in and uh, fill a key spot as a starter or a key reserve. Um, so it's been exciting to kind of see that development happen within the team in these last couple of weeks. Uh, seeing some players definitely evolve into some leadership roles on the field and uh, even some of the newcomers uh, quickly taking some ownership uh, over some positions and some places in the depth chart and um, showing that they're ready to compete for playing time. the mystery of soccer, <laughs> uh, scoring more goals. It's, uh, it's most, the most elusive concept uh, that we all chase after as coaches. And uh, you know, for us, it's been a little bit of twofold. And you know, from a coaching standpoint, we talk about um, that final ball or the final pass in, in what we term the final third. And so we've been working a lot on that as a team, um, both throughout the spring and then obviously coming right into training camp. Um, but I think it boils down to individual player confidence in the final third as well as decision making. And so we've been trying to develop those concepts in general and put those pieces together so that we can hopefully produce more goals this season. I mean, we love competition. And I'm a kind of coach philosophically it says we got to schedule some of the best to be the best. And so um, I believe in a tough competitive schedule. Um, and I also I think it's important to respect your opponent. Um, so we're going to respect Denver and the reputation that they have. But I also think that the goals for us at Nevada are to execute our game plan. We have a certain style of soccer where we have a, a success as a team that, that we rely on. And we're going to rely on that on Friday against Denver. Um, but I think we also measure success by showing that we can take the concepts we've been working on in training camp, put them into the game. Um, I want to see us be organized, especially defensively. And I want to make sure that we um, show a lot of discipline with what we've been working on, uh, both when we have the ball and when we don't have the ball. And I think besides trying to you know, get that W, that those are going to be the things that when the game's over, uh, we look at and, and use that as something to move forward on into the next game.